Hello, my fellow students. Uh, welcome to this uh, session. My name is Mr. B. Inglosi. Today, we will be working with a spreadsheet of, of which basically one particular application of which it's Excel, basically, in MS Word. So welcome to this particular session. I'll trust you will enjoy it. Please, we will be looking at uh, some of the things basically that has to do with working with a spreadsheet, but particularly with, you know, as we know from the N4 theory, basically that uh, spreadsheet is used mostly for number manipulation. So today we will be looking at working with a spreadsheet. As I have said basically before, for us, what we will be making reference to is the previous question paper of which the, the previous question paper we will be using, it's a November 2016 question paper. So the question paper basically to kick off this particular session, it instructs us basically to retrieve the spreadsheet that is already saved as question 6a. So it means basically this particular spreadsheet has already kit in whether it be it in your hard drive or be it in your diskette. So already there we have our spreadsheet already basically retrieved and open up of which is spreadsheet question 6a. Now let's tackle the first question. Now the first question tells us that we need to change the header uh, to question 6b, which is right aligned and then insert the examination number on our left. So the the, the 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 tabs on top basically the layout of a spreadsheet will be similar to that of a word but certain functions basically will only be allocated to certain uh, positions especially with a spreadsheet so in this case it means we have a header basically that has been inserted as question 6a now we need to change it to 6b and then on our left we needed to insert our question number or our examination number so for us to change that now it's unlike where in word where we had to go to insert tab then we go to header now on your excel we go to page layout then we go to your page setup tab we open up that function then there we have our header and footer so what we wanted to do this time is just what we want a custom header so we needed to change question 6a to question 6b and then they've asked us on our left hand section to insert our question or sorry our our examination number so we have done that so we click ok then we click ok now notice anything basically on the spreadsheet you can't basically view or the, your header basically it's not showing on your spreadsheet but it is there if you go to file and then you go to file print preview basically there we have our header there so basically it's not always visible on your spreadsheet but if you have inserted it and you are comfortable that you have inserted it then you have nothing to worry about it will show during your printout then we are asked basically to edit the spreadsheet according to the instruction instructions indicated in the text on page 14 now the next page here it is on page 14 so we needed to edit the the excel spreadsheet according to this now the first thing they are asking us to do is to change the heading to italics and number line so we have this heading so we needed to change this to italics and we needed to underline this so we have changed that then the second part that they are asking us to do is center the headings now these are all our headings so this one's we need to select center. We have centered our headings. Then the next thing it asks us basically to insert this column of which it's a selling price. The column needs to be between markup and discount. So we will select discount since we know that by default, if we insert our columns always get inserted on the left. So what we need to insert is selling price selling price of which our selling price is our new column then we needed to right align the total word so we select then we select right align so we have a right aligned the, uh, the the total word underneath the discount and then we needed to insert the text basically below 
invoice number AL002. So it means we needed to insert two, two rows where the first one it is AL003, AL003, and then we have AL004. It's your choice basically whether you want to insert uh, downward or you want to insert basically a, a, the record as a whole. Then we have maze in brackets yellow. Then we have basically the number sold it's 22 and then the price it is 455. Five. Then we have the invoice AL004, which is the product or the item is Sunflower. Sunflower. And then the, the number sold, it is 23. And then the selling price, it's 37.44. There we've inserted basically uh, the rows as instructed. So we have done all the manuscript signs according to page 14. Now we go back up to continue with our instructions. Basically we've edited the spreadsheet according to page 14. Now they are asking us to display the unit price as currency with two decimals. Currency, the unit price, or oh, there it is by default automatically basically your unit price it's currency it's in currency rent so it has two decimal places in basically but if this was not the case we would have come here selected english rents by default this will give you uh two decimals but if basically it was not going to if more decimals were required we would have come here then we said currency we select the symbol of the currency then you can specify your your decimals here Okay, then they further further to that they ask us to display the number sold as integer. So number sold there it is as integer, meaning there are no decimals attached to it. So it is a single number. So that by default is done. But if that was not the case, then we would have gained, we would have came here, then we would have just used number, then we would have uh, we would have just uh, made the decimals to be zero then that will give us the the number sold then they say adjust the column width to fit the spreadsheet on one a4 landscape so we needed to go to page layout we needed to go to orientation we needed to change this to landscape and then basically they ask us to ensure that all of our content basically it is visible it is visible Sometimes you just needed to adjust your columns basically or you needed to adjust your, your, your columns or your fields to ensure that basically your text is all visible and it's all basically clearly readable. So that is done. Then they ask us to save this spreadsheet as spreadsheet question 6b. So we come to file, then we come to save us, then we go to layer. Then we need to change this to question 6b. So our spreadsheet is saved as question 6b. Then basically make print the spreadsheet and place it in your examination folder. So basically you come to file, then we come to print, then you selected your printer basically that is connected to your computer. Then you make a printout of your document and then you submit. I hope this particular lesson was informative. Students, I trust you. I will see you again in the upcoming sessions. Thank you for joining up. Again, my name is Bohani Dozi. Please subscribe on the button below for us to be for you to be alerted on all the videos that we are about to upload. For any questions or for any comments, please you are allowed to comment on the video and then basically for we will attend to your question as soon as we get time. Thank you.